Well, thank you very much, Speaker. Speaker, in the year 1974, a group of visionaries from the Portuguese community in Mississauga came together to create a centre for the Portuguese Canadian community as an outlet for the cultivation of Portuguese language, culture, and tradition. The centre uh, plays a crucial role for first generation Portuguese Canadians as they arrive in Canada and for second and subsequent generation Portuguese Canadians to give them exposure to their parents' and grandparents' heritage, culture, values, tradition, and certainly food. The first Portuguese cultural centre of Mississauga was located on Dundas Street, and it has since moved to Streetsville. The Portuguese Cultural Centre of Mississauga is an active participant and a terrific pavilion at Carasauga, Mississauga's annual festival of cultures. Each year, I always enjoy visiting the Portuguese pavilion and certainly indulging uh, in the lovely Portuguese uh, food and wine and uh, enjoying the entertainment. On November the 22nd, I had the pleasure of being a guest at the annual Portuguese gala dinner in Mississauga. The milestone dinner celebrated the 40th anniversary of the Portuguese Cultural Center of Mississauga. I'd like to congratulate Gilberto Maniz, soon to retire, the president of the Portuguese Cultural Center of Mississauga and the board of directors for putting together a wonderful event showcasing music and entertainment native to Portugal accompanied by good food and great company. Thank you, Speaker.